Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Dwayne Johnson addresses Maui fund backlash, Moroccan pharmaceutical firm Sothema Mall's East African plant, third wave of inflation looming as oil prices surge, UN airs concerns for civilians as Israel steps up military response in Gaza to deadly Hamas attacks, one $16 billion deal travels lonely dual track. Dwayne Johnson addresses Maui fund backlash, The Independent. Dwayne Johnson has spoken out against the backlash he and Oprah Winfrey faced after asking for donations to their Maui Recovery Fund. The People's Fund for Maui was launched in August and pledged $10 million. However, when the pair asked for public donations, they faced criticism. Johnson responded in an Instagram video, saying he understood that many Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, but that he would learn from the backlash. The fund has already started distributing funds to survivors of the Maui wildfires, which destroyed many homes. Moroccan pharmaceutical firm Sothema Mull's East African plant. Reuters. Morocco's largest pharmaceutical company, Sothema, is seeking partnerships to set up a plant in East Africa as part of its expansion strategy in the continent. Sothema is expected to raise capital once it finalizes the partnership deal. The new plant will focus on high-value products linked to oncology and diabetes. The firm is currently developing cannabis-based treatments for pain management and epilepsy, which are expected to be on the market within two years. Sothema's profit grew 9.3% last year to MAD 282M, $27.2 million. Third wave of inflation looming as oil prices surge. Telegraph. Economists have warned of a potential third wave of inflation following a spike in oil prices after a deadly attack by Hamas on Israel. The price of Brent crude rose as much as 5% to reach $89 a barrel, amid concerns that the conflict could escalate tensions in the Middle East, leading to sanctions and supply shortages. The threat of a global recession is also a concern if the US and Saudi Arabia become more involved in the turmoil. Additionally, there are worries about growing tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran, as well as potential disruption to gas supplies in Europe due to the conflict. UN airs concerns for civilians as Israel steps up military response in Gaza to deadly Hamas attacks. Associated Press. The United Nations has expressed growing concerns about the humanitarian needs in Palestinian areas as Israel tightens its military response and lockdown of Gaza. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned of the prospect of more innocent lives being lost and condemned the fatalities and hostage takings by Hamas. Guterres highlighted the dire humanitarian situation in Gaza, stressing the need for medical equipment, food, fuel, and other supplies. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Assistance said damage to water, sanitation, and hygiene facilities in Gaza has already hindered services for over 400,000 people. The Qantas flameout is a symptom of something much more serious. ABC. The recent backlash against Australian airline Qantas and its senior executives is a result of years of disregard for its loyal customer base and poor financial performance, according to an opinion piece in the Sydney Morning Herald. The breaking point came when the airline attempted to thwart customers from retrieving half a billion dollars in refunds and was accused of deliberately selling tickets for cancelled flights. Qantas is not alone in its greed and hubris, many other corporations have been involved in wage theft scandals, where employees have been underpaid due to complex industrial relations laws or simple errors. The extent of wage theft in Australia remains unknown, but it is estimated to cost Australians around $1.35 billion Australian dollars, $1 billion, per year. While there has been little legal action taken against wage theft, this may be about to change, as Australia's Workplace Relations Minister has proposed new legislation that could see employers imprisoned for up to 10 years. The article also highlights Qantas CEO Alan Joyce's contentious leadership, including a bitter war with the airline's own workforce and a disastrous attempt to put rival Virgin out of business, which led to a government bailout. Exxon Pioneer tie-up could squeeze U.S. shale oil suppliers, pipelines. Reuters. ExxonMobil's acquisition of Pioneer Natural Resources could impede output growth in the Permian Shale Formation, according to energy advisors. The deal would give Exxon a daily production of around 1.33 million barrels of oil and gas equivalent, exceeding its 2027 target of 1 million barrels per day. Current government data indicates Permian crude production will rise by 430,000 barrels per day this year compared to 1 million barrels per day in 2019. 23andMe says hacker appears to have stolen genetic information. The Independent. Personal genetic information of 23andMe users has been stolen by a hacker. The company stated that the hacker accessed the information, 
which includes the names of celebrities, by using recycled login credentials from other websites that had previously been hacked. It is unclear how many accounts were compromised or the scale of the problem. 23andMe advised users to change their passwords and set up multi-factor authentication to secure their accounts. The company has not determined whether the stolen data has been made available online or if it is legitimate. That's all for today's news, folks. I'm Dr. Six, your friendly neighborhood observer from the Six Degrees world. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. First, we heard about Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey facing backlash for asking for donations to their Maui Recovery Fund. Johnson addressed the criticism, acknowledging the financial struggles many Americans face. Nevertheless, the fund has already begun distributing funds to those affected by the devastating Maui wildfires. In other news, Moroccan pharmaceutical firm Sothema is considering setting up a plant in East Africa to expand its operations. The company is also developing cannabis-based treatments and saw a 9.3% increase in profit last year. Economists are warning of a potential third wave of inflation due to surging oil prices following the recent conflict between Hamas and Israel. The situation in the Middle East, as well as tensions between Saudi Arabia and Iran, could lead to sanctions, supply shortages, and disruptions to gas supplies in Europe. The United Nations has expressed concerns about the humanitarian needs in Palestinian areas as Israel tightens its military response and lockdown of Gaza. The dire situation in Gaza requires urgent medical equipment, food, fuel, and other supplies. Private equity firms GTCR and Apex are considering both a sale and an IPO for insurance broker Assured Partners. However, with the current slowdown in markets, neither option seems viable at the moment. Australian airline Qantas is facing backlash for its poor treatment of customers and employees. The article highlights Qantas' disregard for its loyal customer base, wage theft scandals, and CEO Alan Joyce's contentious leadership. ExxonMobil's acquisition of Pioneer Natural Resources could impede output growth in the Permian Shale Formation, according to energy advisors. The deal would give Exxon a daily production exceeding its target, potentially squeezing other shale oil suppliers and pipelines. Lastly, personal genetic information of 23andMe users has been stolen by a hacker. The company advises users to change their passwords and set up multi-factor authentication to secure their accounts. Phew. That was quite a roundup of news today. Now, let's dive into some analysis. The conflict between Hamas and Israel is not only a humanitarian crisis but also a threat to global stability. The potential for a third wave of inflation due to surging oil prices is something we should all keep an eye on, as it could have far-reaching consequences for the global economy. The situation in Gaza demands immediate attention and support from the international community. As for Qantas, it's a reminder that corporations need to prioritize their customers and employees if they want to maintain their reputation and avoid public backlash. Now, it's time for you, my wonderful audience, to join the discussion. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Do you have any questions or insights to share? I'm all ears. Remember, in the Six Degrees world, every opinion matters. So don't be shy, speak up and let's have a lively conversation. What's on your mind? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.